Welcome to Val's Sweet Kitchen. Seven minute icing and boiled icing are virtually the same thing, different method. And they're really good. And they're more than a hundred years old. How cool is that? So get out your mixer and your whisk attachment and let's go have some fun. So we're gonna start with the seven minute icing. That's made over a bin marie, or in America, is known as a double boiler. All that is, is just a heat proof bowl over top, a saucepan with an inch of water in it. And you just take two egg whites, and I always crack them outside the bowl. That way, if the yolk's gonna burst, it's gonna burst in here and not in there. And to your egg whites, add two cups of sugar. Bring this up to 160 degrees, and that's gonna pasteurize the egg whites and help dissolve the sugar granules. This is so easy, because this is pretty much it. All right, there we go, 160. So just take this off the heat and let it cool a minute. Way back a hundred years ago, the cookbooks say to get out your rotary beater and start beating it here, but I'm gonna use my stand mixer, thank you. It cools down quickly. And then whisk on high for seven minutes and it'll cool down. And towards the end, as it's cooled down mostly, add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk it to stiff peaks. See, that's the mountain peak. If you've ever made Swiss meringue buttercream, all you need to do is add your butter now. Same thing, could be a precursor, huh? Now the boiled frosting kind of my favorite method. It's very similar to Italian meringue. Again, you start with two eggs, except you're gonna put the eggs directly into here, egg whites. And then add two cups of sugar directly into the saucepan, along with a half a cup of water, and bring that up to 240, 236 to 240 degrees. 136. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna take it and on high speed, drizzle it into the bowl. Careful not to touch the side of the bowl or the whisk. You wanna drizzle it directly into the egg whites. This is gonna cook the egg whites too, so it's safe to eat. And just like seven minute icing, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract in the end. Vanilla extract is kind of persnippity. It doesn't really like to be heated up. And there you go. Stiff peaks, mountain peaks. And you'll also notice that this is very similar to the Italian meringue method. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? I hope you have fun today. If you did, give it a like, thumbs up, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and boop the bell.